Yes, 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 y'all. Welcome back to a new episode of the Mix It Pop podcast. I'm your host, Chef Tariq. How's everybody doing today? It's episode 78. Damn. Yo, just flying through there, boys. Damn. Just flying. It is hot. Literally. We hot. Podcast is hot. It's up in smokes. It's flaming. <laughs> this one's on drugs, Anyway, so. anyway, I got my brother from another mother, my co-host, Chef Drewski. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Drewski in the building. You already know how it is. How's, uh, how's it going? It's going good. Everything is good. Uh, can't complain. Uh, chilling, actually. We got a we got a lot to talk about today. I know it's been a it's been a, a big week. It's a lot of things have happened. A lot this of past things. Week, a lot so. of crazy things has happened. So let's get right into it. Uh, our drink of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Drew's been asking for. They laughed. It. They laughed at me. Drew's been asking for it. They laughed at me when I first suggested Since, this. Like episode four. They laughed at me, but now ah. look at them. Now I actually look. found it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's, look at them. We got the uh, the vodka seltzer sunny D's. Mm-hmm. Um, they laughed at me. Didn't y'all laugh at me? I laughed. Y'all laughed because I didn't want to try it. I still don't really want to try it. Like, I just, what the hell? Look at that shit. Now it comes on variety. variety they got like, the variety pack. We before got, when they first dropped, it was just the original. The original John John. You're proud of that? Hell yeah, because we were the, we could have been the pioneers, but like, I was laughing at me. Bro, we got orange strawberry, tangy orange, and orange pineapple. Bro, I literally walked into the liquor store. I said, "Damn, I don't know what we gonna drink today." And I literally looked at the cooler. And this was the last one, and I said, "You know, people are dogging <sighs> these, bro." I like, said, "Bro," I said, "If I don't get these right now, I know this nigga's gonna be like." Bro, what? Why didn't you get them? That ass, like you're bugging out. Like, so, all right, here we go. I'll Sunny take whatever D- one. I don't give a shit. Sunny D Vodkas. I'm watching the moves, playing it close. S O D. You getting super soak? You getting tangy orange? His and hers, rainy day, masking coat. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna do the tangy uh, orange. This is gonna be like um, tang. Yeah, you don't know nothing about Tang. You're bugged out. We used to always you drink Tang. You ain't from the hood. If you're you bugged know out, we used to always drink hood. T- uh, drink, no, hood. No, drink no, Tang. We used to. What? Don't no, play with. No, no, don't no, play no, with tang, me. You can bro. call my father now. My I'm father. gonna call Anna. Stop playing, bro. She don't know anything. Oh, she don't know nothing about Tang. She don't know anything. She don't, all she drink is freaking uh, ginger ale. So. Oh, wow. She don't. She she don't. She ain't really bothered like that. Why are you being picky? Just take one. Well, I was trying. The freaking one was all the way at the bottom. Like, all right. Drink that one. What is that? Pineapple. This is the the orange pineapple. Oh, it's probably gonna taste like ass. <laughs> Anything with the pineapple flavor, like with the lick, is like not it, bro. I've noticed that. Nah, those ones be like the best ones. They just be just too sweet. The pina soft. colada Jones be hitting, but. Other than that. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and there it's you have free. it. It's gluten free. Is it actually? Yeah, on the can it says gluten free. Okay, it's glu- it's gluten free. It's gluten free too, guys. Ninety five percent calorie. Ninety five calories. Zero sugar. Four point five alcohol. Well. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Um. Yeah. Nah, you gotta try the tangy orange. Tangy orange, you'll fuck with it. Yeah. This might be the first day in a while where Drew actually finished the damn drink. This shit is good. Try this shit. Yeah. That tangy orange, boss. Got a bolder, like, sunny D taste to it. You can taste more with that one than this one. Like this one's like light because re- it got that pineapple shit. In but it, it's bro. but it's refreshing, so it's like it's really nothing like crazy wrong with it. I just don't. I don't like the seltzer part. Yeah. Nah, that that's good. I don't like the I don't like the seltzer. Like, like mixed with it. Yeah. I don't know. I fuck with it. I like that shit. 
Maybe like maybe that's why like it's. I think like, it's because it's just Sunny D, and you know how I like Sunny D. Maybe like that's why it's like ref- more refreshing with the seltzer. I don't know. I feel like if it was just the vodka with the Sunny D, no. I might have liked it a little more. No, I don't think it would have hit. <laughs> this, one, this is your favorite one now. This is. This the, your, this I your, think. I think. This specific flavor is my favorite. I don't know about those other ones. I'm still iffy on that fucking try the, orange, try strawberry. orange strawberry. I don't want to try none of that. Why not? Because I got to finish my tangy orange. All right, well, you're trying that one next. All right, bet. I will. <laughs> Say that. Uh, how was your weekend, Drew? Uh, my re- weekend was actually pretty good. I had a fashion show. Yeah. Um, Silicon Valley Fashion Week. Uh, they were from California, and they were doing a fashion show out in Boston, their first ever fashion show. So I got to be a part of that. Um, I walked for three designers, and it was a great turnout, to be honest. Um, yeah. It was a very well-organized show. Um, everybody was super cool, uh, made a lot of connections and everything. And um, they're actually doing another one out in China and then they're doing another one in California. So how many? They told me uh, that they would keep how many moving. designers were there? Um, so there were in total there were four designers there, and I did fits for three of them because the other one was swimsuit. Oh, okay, okay. So the the three main ones you seen, and then you saw a swimsuit at the end because the swimsuit was the the very last one. But okay, yeah, uh, everybody was cool. Um. Then what? What else did I do after the fashion show? Oh, I uh, bro, we've been meaning to go to the movies this whole past weekend, bro. We have not gone to see it. We were supposed to go see a Quiet Place, mm. part two. I mean, part three. Yeah. Whatever it is, part whatever. <laughs> but um, we haven't gotten around to it. So I mean, we've been meaning to do that. But I did go out to um. Rocked and chilled with Shorty and everything like that. Yep. Um, and then what else? Why do I feel like there was something else? Sunday we didn't do shit, right? Mm-mm. Nah. So like, I think it was really just a chill weekend, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, oh, I did Mad Laundry too. Caught up on that shit. And um, oh, NCAA, NCAA, NCAA. I've been playing Weed that, trying to dangerous. relive my college days. Feel me? But. Your college um, yeah, when I was a, a star football player, you know, at the for, Culinary Institute of America. Fuck no, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, that I've been playing that. I've been playing that fucking game you just saw me playing before I came in here. Yeah, strategy games. The war, I'm getting the more war into hog. it. Yeah, the fucking Kings of Crusaders, King Crusader shit. But other than that, it's just been cool vibes. Just been vibing, vibing out. You yeah. know, waiting for the next move. Oh. Watching the moves, playing it close, feel me? Screaming. SOD, Super Soak. Screaming. Rainy days, his and hers, matching coats. Okay. Cool. Do you like my hair? My hair's getting longer. Your hair is getting longer. Your yeah. Getting longer. You guys, you laughed at me. I'm glad. You guys glad. all laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> is that your thing for today? Yo, they laughed yeah. at me. They laughed my at revenge, me. My revenge today, they laughed at me. They laughed at me. Like, Damn. <laughs> So hey. it's getting longer. I'm glad it was done for Saturday. So exactly, uh, there you go. That's all that matters. But what about you? What did you do this weekend? Oh, uh, what did I do this week? This week was a pretty good week. Um, hung out with Tiana a few times. Um, we did, oh, we I know. Uh, I was at her house Thursday. We hung out. I was hanging out with her and her her nephews at the mall and stuff like that. Nephews. Her nephew. Nephew. Yeah. Sure, nephew. you got a kid. No. Or it's her. Well, her. It's a little cousin. But what's up with that? You know, can we can we cover that base real quick? How does because my girl's family be doing that too? It's just kind of like how a, is it's kind of just like a, a a I guess Spanish. So like my no. little cousin is my nephew now. No, not necessarily. I mean, but, but like that's how they do it. But it, I mean, I feel like it depends on the person, depends on the family. Like, yeah, that's true though, actually too. Like, they do it different ways. Like my cousin, all right, you know, she's older than me, but her kids, all right, those are my cousins. Like, I don't be like, yeah, I'm your uncle and stuff. No, those are my, I call them my cousins. Wait, 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 go back again. My my one of my cousins, she has three boys: Jabari, DJ, Jordan, and stuff. You know, those are my cousins. I don't be like, yeah, I'm their uncle. Like, those 
my those are my cousins. Because those are your actual cousins. Yeah. But why would you say you're their uncle? No, that's what I was saying. Like how sometimes people be like, oh yeah, you know that's your uncle. You know this, this, and that. But it's like you know we're actually cousins. I think it's just uh, instead of people getting into the whole, well, technically you're my second cousin, and you know I think it's just easy to be like you know what you're older. Yeah, that's your uncle. That's your aunt. So, so you respect them. The, uh, yeah, I feel that like sort of way. I feel like that's kind of just what it is. With no, family. that makes sense. It's like a hierarchy. Because I mean, again, that's her. Because all right, so it's her aunt's son's son. So it's that's her aunt. Her cousin. It's her cousin, but it's like her second cousin. But it's like she got like a good like almost nineteen years on a kid. You think she's like, oh yeah, it's my cousin. Like yeah, you know, it's my aunt and stuff like. Mm-hmm. No, so it makes sense. It, I think it's just, I think one depends on the family. I think that's just kind of, it, it, instead of going into the whole ex, ex, explaining, like, that's my second cousin and this is it, it's my little, it's my nephew. It's my I, don't, nephew. I don't care what kind of cousin you are to me, you're my cousin. <laughs> like, the, twice removed, third removed, I don't give a shit. How yeah, many times it, you that's all it removed. is. Like, I mean, inside the family, it's like, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, and then even so, it's like, if it's like, you know, you have a cousin that's like, you know, 40, but, you know, it's like they watch you and stuff like that, you know, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's my little nephew. And you're like, nah, we're cousins. It's like, you really going to no, go back? No, I am. <laughs> 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 we're cousins. Don't, you're, don't. You got your great arm. Don't get it fucked up. You got your great arm, but then that's your cousin. Nah, because Kiana, so she has, her stepdad is, has a, a sister mm-hmm. that's the same age as Kiana. But Kiana calls her her cousin, but really that's her aunt. So that's why I'm like, okay, so in my instance where I was coming from with it, I understand the way you was explaining it, but the way she be doing it is, all right, now this is your literal aunt, but you're calling her your cousin instead of it being your cousin and you're saying it's an aunt. Well, technically not related because if it's her step. Or step well, te- yeah, well, te- technically, but I mean, if we're like, oh yeah, we're all family and stuff, that's my cousin, you know. So I, I get why you're saying that, because even you know, but that's your aunt. Is yeah, I mean, you can. But you would say cousin, or would you say aunt? Uh, it depends on that situation. Like my like Olivia's cousins, like Josh V and stuff like that. Um, I mean, we call them like yes, yeah, my cousin and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, cousins. So I mean, it's. It just depends on family, I think. It's family it's dynamic. just yeah, like it's just like a, it's like a, it's a Spanish thing. It's a cultural thing to where it's just people kind of be like, "All right, you're older." Yeah, that's my nephew. That's my that's my aunt. Nah, I'm gonna adopt uncle. that shit. I'm so, gonna do that shit with my family. Uh, that's kind of all it is. Have the family compound. I mean, I mean, Bella, Bella, you know, she has no blood to anybody with anybody in my family, but you know, all my cousins and aunts and stuff. You know, like, oh, that's your aunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Kind of just all it is. I think it's just more cultural respect thing. So, yeah, that's all it is. That answer your question. Me and Bella are in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, what the fuck? Why, I don't know why you did Bella like that. Yo, Jesus what Christ. you mean? You, you are, you are, but we weren't gonna go there. I, that's all it was. Like we didn't have to even throw it out there like that. Like. Oh my god. No, oh. when you brought it up, I thought of it. I was like, damn, me and her are in the same boat. <laughs> oh boy. Um no, yeah, we we hung up on Thursday hung out on Thursday and then uh I had red Sunday, but I also had uh a few things I had to cook for George's boy. So I did that and then we came up for your fashion show. Well I came up and went to Tiana's house and me, her, her sister and their friend went to the fashion show and stuff like that. You know, we it was a good time. You know, they had they enjoyed it. They had fun. You know, I was kind of you know, all right. Let's see what Drew what Drew learned. What's some what's some new the techniques. You know, and it was kind of weird how the stage was. Where like you guys were going down the stairs, bro. Like that. That's that. so I was just like, all right. And I I can you can definitely see one. Uh, there was a lot of models, so it was like all right. There's definitely a lot of designs, a lot of models. So it's like all right. Let's go. We're, Drew's Drew's about to come up, and we're just sitting there waiting like. Bro, I came here for one person. Come on, literally, like hurry let's, it up. Let's get it. Let's get him down. Come on. But it was like, I feel like also the timing was off with a lot with some of that stuff too, and like, like some of the mixes, the music, on like the, the music, music was kind of off. So the music, I mean, again, it was a good show. Yeah, in it my was. opinion, because 
I've been a part of a lot of shows and like I've done a lot of great shows and everything but in my opinion that one personally was like top tier like up there yeah there were like with any other thing technical difficulties te- technical difficulties and stuff like that but yeah that's why I texted um, I was like cause literally the lights went the lights and like the sound went out mm-hmm. and like uh, the little lights and stuff like that and we was just like and they stopped and so like that's why people were moving around I'm like yeah they were doing like some intermission on that part I didn't I don't but it, I think they had to go to an intermission but it was like something was there was like, was like a shortage or something like that and so mm-hmm. they were trying to figure it out so I was like what the hell is going on right now but but um that and the biggest thing was the um it was different with the runway because it was like you said walking down steps and the biggest concern backstage was um the wow. model well yeah the model because the girls were wearing heels and stuff like that and not saying that they aren't able to wear rock heels but it's uh it wasn't just stairs it was brick so it was like all those little crevices and shit like that so there's no telling what could happen but yeah. everybody fucking rocked that show bro yeah. like they fucking did they fucking shit yeah and i fucking that's why i think personally that that was one of a, one of my best shows yeah. i think so no nah, yeah no nah, it definitely was a good show i th- i definitely think like again tiana was like she was like okay like you know Sheree, let you know was, you know she was in, into it and again it was i mean it was cool that they got to see you do it for like your, for their first, first time, time and yeah. stuff like that like you know, I, I've seen, seen it. Multiple I've times. seen it a few times. Well, uh, well, I've seen like you know the, the shoots and stuff like that. Like you actually doing the, the actual walk. Like that was what the second time. So yeah. it was it was it was cool to see you know everything. So I was definitely I'm definitely glad we actually decided to go up, uh, to go and everything. Um, and then we went out. We went to dinner right after. You know, got some food at like some taco spot right next. Did you hit me up right after that? Did you were like yo? Did you leave? When y'all went to go eat? No. No? Because I see... I thought you were asking, did I leave, like, Boston? Yeah. Oh, no. I texted... That was when... When you went upstairs, I was like, yo, are you leaving? I was like, yo, are you leaving now or something like that? Oh. It was like... It was like right, right at the end, I was like... I was, I was trying to... We were trying, I was trying to figure out, like, all right. All right, well, you all did it or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Because I, I was starving. And I literally didn't eat that day. So I was like, I'm, I'm trying to go eat. Uh, nah, I was starving too, but I had to come. What, bro? Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, just kind of chill, just getting things ready. Um, just been working on a few things, you know, book bag drive coming up and stuff like that. Bangers, some, some events coming up. Uh, vacation, just getting ready. For, I'm honestly like getting ready for vacation. My birthday, Olympics, the cruise, Olympics. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Olympics, Olympic ceremonies this Friday as well. Gotta tune into that. So, I literally the, the only get it every four years, guys. And I, I get it. Like it's just one of those things where it's like eh, it's a make or break, but it's still Olympic, so you gotta tune in at least one game, one game at least. Bro, it's it started to, it started today with soccer at nine a.m. Starts got, on on Friday. It's but they start early. They have to start a little early for the soccer just to get some things out the way. Like, yeah, 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 I get that. So, but it, it officially starts Friday. It does. It's officially start, it starts when the opening ceremony happens. So you are right, but you know soccer's out there and stuff like that. So I, I had some soccer on all day, so it was it was cool. It was cool. U.S. is, is in the is soccer is in the Olympics for the first time since '08. The boys time. got cooked today, three zero by France. Now we know why they weren't there since '08. Yeah, but you know it's okay. The women played tomorrow, so they're gonna win, hopefully. Nah, Japan gonna whoop that ass. <laughs> we'll see. Yo, J- bro, Japan men's team. Bro, they cooked Paraguay five 0 Yo, <laughs> every I literally I changed the channel after like they scored a second. One. I was like, all right, I'll go to the next game. Bro, the next game kept showing the next highlight of them square. I'm like, yo, stop, chill out, Japan, <laughs> chill, bro. Bro, they were going stupid on them. I was like, oh my lord. But yeah, Olympics is here, man. I'm excited. I can't wait. So many things. Basketball is hot. Swimming is hot. I'm hot. Goddamn sweat. Equestrian. Equestrian. That's what you're you waiting for the equestrian. And nah, track. I'm waiting actually for the handball too. The handball matches. Bro, handball goes crazy. I used handball. to love playing handball in school, bro. That handball used to be too. my like fun Fridays. I'd be like, fuck it, handball. Let's you know, play handball. You know that added uh, break dance? Yeah, break dancing is an <laughs> Olympic sport. That's an Olympic sport now. That's kind of crazy. 
That is kind of crazy. So they're going to have like ABDC. I mean, not uh, ABDC. Uh, Jabberwockies and shit on there. Uh, I used to watch ABDC crazy though. American Best Dance. Yes. yes. Yeah. That was my show. Uh, I don't know what they're do- actually doing for it. I just know it's an Olympic sport now. We'll see what happens. But let's get into it, Drew. Oh yeah, let's do it. Jabberwocky. Uh, let's start with the presidential race. So, last week, of course, we had Toxina on. So, first of all, shout out to Toxina. 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 My guy. Um, but we had last week. We didn't. We didn't get into uh Donald Trump being shot at one of his uh rallies. Uh, he was shot what in the ear, basically. And they said basically. Some people were saying, like, you know, if he didn't turn his head at the right time, uh, he could he could have been shot in the brain or, you know, a lot closer where he probably could have passed or died or whatever. Um, and then there's just kind of the, you know, first of all, how is there no one checking the roofs? How did Secret Service not, where was the protection at? And when, and then it's like, all right, we got him up. Hey, let's rush him off the stage, but no, let's let him hit the little power to the people pose real quick just so he can get get his social media off. Bro. Yeah. In in my personal opinion, I think all that shit is just a scam, bro. I it it, it, really, it, it was all it, it was all it looks a promotional propaganda, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It, it, it That's looked, all that shit a lot was. of it because there's strange. no way in hell you just gonna righteously fist bump after being shot damn there in the head. You wouldn't if, if this was anyone and else. And that is you the wouldn't, sign of America. Like, you wouldn't what? get the you wouldn't get the chance. The first thing is first they should have picked him up and got him off the stage. There is no. I would have been like nigga, put your hand down. We're off. We're leaving. There's no. Like, there's snipers up here. Bro, Kennedy didn't even get that fucking lucky by just getting hit in the ear. So how the fuck did he make it like that? That's that's why it's like, come on, bro. It looked crazy. And in my opinion, that and who, was, what scapegoat did they fucking find to just automatically say this is a school shooter? He was on top of the motherfucking roof and we killed him and then boom, that's it. Yeah. And then it's like you you can't claim that it's fake because someone else actually got killed. Someone got killed too. Someone got killed. So two people died in the situation, really. The one that was supposed to die made it out, like the roach he is. I'm, uh, yeah. I mean, all our politicians are roaches, I feel. Yeah. I mean, our country, look at it. Like, we literally care more about the fucking stupid shit than the people that are literally living and dying in the streets, but that's n- not uh, here uh, nor there. That's been another America topic for, for another day, basically. Exactly, but... Um, oh, well... What I was going to say is, with that happening, before everything else that went down, I think that would have won him the election, because I think everyone else was, everyone's just going to just go off of that. Look at that. He's a real hero. He got shot. Just he survived. He survived. That's our president. And, you know, just went off of that. And again, against go, going against Joe Biden, where it's like, oh, he's old. He has dementia. He doesn't know what's going on. This is an easy race. And that was their big, uh, basically their big scheme going into the convention and going into this this election this year was, he's old. He's the oldest pre- uh, man running for president. And if he wins, he'll be the oldest president. He, you can't have him. Look at him. He's falling all over the place. He don't remember people's names. That was their whole thing. So again, and even when he picked his, he picked his running mate uh, and J.D. Vance, a uh, senator from Ohio and first of all everyone said this dude is boring as hell they said literally watching his speech is like bro cut him off who Biden pick someone no Trump his, his his running mate right now they literally they said they said he was so boring the rally he had the other day mm-hmm. on Fox Fox literally cut away from him because they're like all right like this is too much he was like all right you're you're you're, you're you, you just kind of suck right now um so that was that was kind of crazy, but then the real actual story is Joe Biden catches COVID. He drops out. Is that true? What? He caught COVID. Yeah, he caught COVID. And that's what made him drop out. I think that sealed the deal. From what I heard and 
stuff like that. <laughs> there was a lot of things I heard. I heard <laughs> I heard the Democratic Party was holding like funds for his campaign basically cuz and I heard that they were trying to force him out basically. Mm. Because they're like you're, you're just old. getting older, you we can't have you do it. He was ready to go, he's ready to do it. But I heard he was forced out basically. I think if he didn't catch COVID, I think he would still try to do it. I think for me because of how old he is, I think that kind of just, that was the straw that I was like, all right, you're done. You're out. All right, we putting a bet on it. Who's winning? Well, from right now, Carmela Harris is our new, well, is the new Democratic uh, representative. She did receive the, de- the, the, the highest delegation, so she will be the actual candidate for the Democratic Party. So... It is her versus Trump, and you know from everything that they've been saying, uh, Republicans are not that good. I heard either. There's a lot of different things. So one, the Republican hates black people. No, I'm it's not true. <laughs> Sound like Kanye? Yeah. <laughs> one, Democrats are a little more scared because again they were going off of you know run against Joe Biden because he was old, but now that switched and it's Carmel Harris who's who was a DA she was she actually knows how to argue she knows what she's talking about when she's talking about arguments and actual actual uh current events it kind of just makes Trump look stupid because now you're the old guy in the party mm-hmm. you'll be the oldest candidate and you don't do anything but just talk about how bad she she's gonna look and even Fox News they right now they're saying this isn't your president. Look at her. Look at look, look at how she laughs. And then what? Th- that's that's what we're going off. It's Fox. It's kind of like it's Fox. It's kind of BS, honestly. But I think that she needs to be in place because she used to be an attorney, and an attorney definitely needs to be in the place of a president, especially against fucking Trump's criminal ass. Uh, again, and that's another thing where he's he's actual convicted felon. Somehow he's running. <laughs> An accused rapist. Somehow he's still running. Get his ass. And he's. St- there are a lot of things, and that's another thing. They said, "Yo, they're kind of scared because in these debates, she can, she can kind of kill him with this." Mm-hmm. Um, and even when you know people were like, "Oh, why are we having her?" You know, she, she put a lot of like you know black people in jail for you know marijuana, Drugs. and they was like, "Oh, it's thousands, thousands." So they actually said, she ha- had, she had like over like. Almost two thousand case, two thousand, but only like forty five of them actually went to jail. Really? Yeah. And then they was like, even with all the other ones, it's all of them in the or in their their district. So it sh- they weren't even in her like actual district or something like that. So it was a lot. Of, it's a lot of different things coming out too. So it's like okay, she does seem like the the right person. Um. Some are, you know, of course, you know, I want to do some research and, you know, it's getting more people's attention, more people's eyes and more people are thinking about actually voting this year, especially for people who haven't voted before in a presidential election. This is their, this is their time and stuff. Um, the Guardian. This is going to be a crucial election. Though. Yeah, it is. Because this can literally steer... This could literally steer the future of America. I know every election they say this is going to, but this right here is a pinnacle right, point. Right now with how things are going. Because yes. we've already experienced 2016 through 2020, and we've t- experienced 2020 to 2024 now. Yeah. So, like, we've seen both sides of the car, uh, both sides of the coin throughout the last eight years. Yep. This next four years which is probably going to be the next person's next eight depending on who they we put in there well if if well, trump if wins this would be a second term so four. this would only be his it would only be yeah, four never if mind. carmela Scratch wins she can go eight. eight with a second term if she gets elected yeah. um they the guardian did a uh talk to gen gen v basically voters uh and just some people basically you know one person said i think she she's just what we need it, it's only it's only she's the only one that makes sense uh she's gonna have you know black asian latinos lgbq the young voters she's gonna uh draw a lot of attention for like you know women to vote and stuff like that 
Uh, someone said they're fired up. Also, one thing, she they said she set the record for the, like the most donations in the first day of like running as a as the candidate basically at any party. Like she and the number kind of like was varying. Everyone was like it was like eighty one. It was like ninety. It was like over two two million like two million dollars to like run a campaign. Mm-hmm. So it's like that already kind of shows you. Pe- people are kind of actually feeling what actually kind of want this to happen. Um, some people were saying, you know, I'm concerned that she's silly and not serious. Uh, saying they have mixed emotions. Um, some people don't like that the Democratic Party also kind of just dropped her in out of nowhere instead of doing it earlier. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things that, you know, are kind of out there right now. It's what you take from it is what you hear from the debates, which is going to be, again, like you just said, it's going to be very important. I think one thing that's going to be very important is her, her, uh, her running mate, who she, her, who she decides. I think one, the dude on the other side, he ain't that great. People are already calling him, you know, kind of dumb. They're already saying he's boring, not entertaining. And I don't really, his own party isn't really a fan of him. So I think her having someone that's at least capable of the job is going to be very important. Um, so I I definitely think that is something important. Are you gonna one? Are you gonna actually vote? Yeah, I voted. I voted last time. Oh, the, right. in the last presidential debate, right. I had to go vote in Jersey for that shit because I wasn't something was weird and it wasn't set up. But I remember going to vote. Oh, because you, you weren't an actual you wasn't uh, in Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah you weren't. Re- oh, but you can do that now, huh? Yeah, I'm oh, registered right. now, so I can definitely just vote out here. But yeah, um, I don't know. I think pe- a lot of our peers too are misled because everyone is under this notion like, oh, when Trump was in office, we all had money, bro. We all had money, like what? What are y'all talking about? Just because like, he gave us stimulus packages for yeah, COVID, like, but he kind of messed that up too, though. We're all still suffering from those things. Just Very because much. the government gives, just like they giveth, they taketh away. So even they, they giving you stimmies today, but later down the road, hey. may not be tomorrow, may not be the day after, but next week, motherfucker, they coming back for them stimmies. I mean, that kind of it kind of didn't mess us up. Um, I know more for me and I'm saying like, all right, where, yeah, you know, I can say, you know, I should have saved a lot of it, but you know, cause I was always like, all right, I, I can do this. I had a set schedule when I was working, when I get paid, I can do this, I can do that. All right, cool. You know, I'm good. I was fine. Once we got them stimulus packages, oh, all bets were off. Mm-hmm. We weren't paying student loans. We weren't doing this. We weren't, do- oh, I'm buying, I was buying shoes. I was buying clothes. I was buying this. You know, it was all, it was all easy. All right. Yeah. You know, we started a little business. Hey, that was a great, that was the best, you know, best thing that came out of COVID and stuff like that. Looking at it now, it's like, damn, I didn't handle that correctly at all. all. And, and it was we just because we were get just getting again. checks. It was just, here you go, here you go. And it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't set up where we was just like, all right, like, we need to make sure things are done properly. And you know, a lot of people felt that way. A lot of people are still affected with COVID and stuff like that. So that's something else you could take you take into uh, to consideration. That sucks. There's one thing me and my mom was talking about. Cause she was like, uh, one of her lives that she always like l- l- watches from like one of her friends and stuff. You know, they were talking about, and it was like, oh, you know, voting doesn't matter. You know, my vote don't count and stuff like that. And it was saying like, oh, this is, no, I'm not gonna vote. But that's the problem. It's the the biggest problem is you know we say, oh, my vote don't count, but then we're also the next person to complain that something isn't done with the government. But it's like you didn't make a difference. You didn't make the difference. You be. If you're not voting and to be you would be surprised how much the black vote w- does actually count. Yes. If you know it's funny because if you guys actually remember all the all the people that actually was able to vote and you know they were black and stuff like that in the last election it made a big difference. Mm-hmm. Especially in Georgia when uh uh Warnack had a, literally had a runoff with the person he was facing him because he all the people that actually came out to vote the first time and he, they had to literally have a runoff because it was tied and they actually came out again and voted for him so it makes a difference one thing i said to my mom too i was like so for again 
when it's when we're talking about the president presidential race, it's all the electoral. So mm. yes, for you know Rhode Island, where you know it's more of a blue state, and for the most part, you know it always goes Democrat anyway. But for us, who only has like you know you only get the one or you know maybe three electoral votes, mm-hmm. it may not seem like it matters with but us. It doesn't matter. But for the states of like Florida, Ohio, Arizona, Kentucky, Michigan. Those are the California. Those are the, the bigger states with the more electoral votes. That's where you need to be voting truly at, like Jersey, New York. But still, at, at the end of the day, it defeats the per- Yeah, it's, it, every vote counts at the end of the day. If you're able to vote, you should be doing it no matter what. Like because it, even even if you know the electoral college, even if you know, all right, we say you know what, we don't it ours don't matter this year. We'll be fine. But then all of a sudden, a lot of Republicans. Flip, you know, actually go out and vote, and the state gets flipped. We kind of just screwed it up, you know, regardless, because we're you're already counting on our vote. Mm-hmm. So now, if you if it gets flipped to being a red state, and he, you know, Trump wins that one, now that it may not look like a a it may not look like you know a big win in in the long run, but it's like that could be something that can make it a lot closer. Exactly, you know. So, you know, anyone that's, one, if you're out there, make sure you're, you're going out to get registered to vote. Two, know your, your polling places. Know the laws, because in even some of the laws that some of the states like Georgia, you can't have, drink bottled waters or you can't pass out waters and stuff like that. That's kind of ridiculous. That's dumb. Get over it. And it's just another way of trying to get people not to vote. Um, but no, go out to vote. It's definitely going to be very important. We'll definitely probably touch on it more optimism pass it on in november and stuff like that so again yeah let's let's get out there and vote people just like uh what's that dude's name um he's always on those propaganda posters uncle sam go vote <laughs> <laughs> that's what his name was but what's the next topic come on oh man the next topic well i guess we can get into it uh well sonia massey Oh yeah, you want, you want that to take was. Over on this one, or? So, um, there's this past weekend, um, Sonia Massey. She was in her home, and I'm just giving the point of view from the video that I seen. Pretty much, um, supposedly, the caption claimed that she had schizophrenia or she suffered from mental illness, yep. which seems to be the trend nowadays for whenever a person of color gets murdered by the police. But I digress. Um, she was in her home. The police showed up because she called them saying that she felt somebody was breaking into her home. They came to investigate. Um, she had a boiling pot of water on the stove while she was getting interrogated. She then went to go turn it off. Uh, the cops felt like, I don't know, they were in danger because this woman had a pot of boiling water, which I can see from their point of view where they were coming from. If she threw and, it, if she threw yeah, it, and they, got, burned, threw it and they got burnt. Yeah, yeah, so I understand that. And I did hear her say that I will rebuke you in the name of Jesus. So mm-hmm. if you say something like that to me, I'm thinking that you're about to throw it. But once I tell you to get on the ground and you put both hands up and you get out actually on the ground, I'm not going to proceed to let off rounds into your fucking body. That that part just didn't make sense to me at all, and we all seen it in the video. Despite if you want to recognize it or not, he literally just killed her in cold blood. She didn't throw any water. She put the pot down, yep. and it it was it is what it is. Another innocent person killed. And, like, it's crazy because it will go back to race. It will go back to all this long lineage of people just getting murdered. And half of the population thinks, oh, well, uh, um, people should just listen to the police and da-da-da-da-da. But in this instance, even if you were listening to the police, I feel like she wasn't going to make it out of alive Mm -hmm. at all. Um, Yeah, 36-year-old woman from Illinois, uh, Sean Grayson, 30-year-old uh county sheriff um it does it, i i kind of i did hear about it and i kind of just wanted to just not even go into it i really didn't look up really much information before i watched the video i did i my cousin you know posted the video 
I looked at it for two seconds and I just turned away from it. I went to something else. I said, I don't, I really don't want to see this. Because again, it's just another, another one. It's like it's another Trayvon Martin. It's just another like Orlando Castillo. Or Le- yeah, exactly. It's another um, one of them. Like it's George Floyd. You know, it's like. It doesn't make sense, especially when you have the body cam on. It's like, why do you continue to do it? He got suspended or he got fired? He got fired. It says he got fired from the agency. Hold on. So, from what CNN says, uh, it's uh, uh, Grayson has worked at the law enforcement since 2020. Uh, and then he, first of all, it says he worked there for four years. Uh, worked at six agencies in four years. Wow. Uh, he was he had well, six agencies in four years is crazy. He had two DUIs as well while work, and now he killed an innocent woman. Even after she put she put the pot down and dropped to the floor. One right there that should have been it. You should have been like, look, we're gonna put you in cuffs, and we're gonna figure this out. Or you should just been like, you know what? We'll be back. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll figure this out. We'll f- pulling and then pulling your gun at the be at the. It just doesn't make sense, honestly. It's like, why do you guys think it's okay to just keep doing it? Why do you think? Oh man, you know, I'm just gonna keep pulling my gun out on somebody, especially when they're not doing anything. To just, I'm just gonna shoot. Like, why is that your first instinct? Why is it to kneel your neck, your knee on someone's neck, your first instincts? Why is it your first instinct to say, let me grab five of my buddies to jump on this one person until they can't breathe? And they say, hey, please let me breathe. I need some water or something. And it's like, nope, you're a criminal. You're you're bad. You're black. You're Spanish. It's like it it just doesn't make sense. It's like. It's kind of hard to even keep talking about this because then it's just like, oh, well, it's just another person. What's the next one? Like, this shouldn't be a common thing. It doesn't happen to white people. And if it does, it's not that often. It doesn't happen to any other race. It, and if it does, it's not that often. It literally continues to just happen to us. And it's like, at the end of the day, it just needs to stop literally like it's it's hard it's sickening it's how can how are we supposed to have children of our own tell have them see this and raise them and say hey well we understand this is going on this is how you supposed this is how you have to move around the police this is why one this is why we have problems with the police anyway this is why when we're driving we see a cop car we pull over it so we don't just so they don't do anything to us because we're scared and regardless of what's happening. I can have my seatbelt on. I can have everything right. My car can be registered. I see a cop, I still pull over to the side and slow down because I'm scared. That just shouldn't be happening on a regular basis. I. It's one thing if you know I had something in a car, I'm like, damn, crap, I'm gonna get caught. If I'm just driving, I'm scared because I think something's gonna happen. Or it's dark at night and I'm driving from work and I'm saying, damn, there's two cops right there. I, sh- I should, I gotta slow down. I gotta, I'm scared for my life. I shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that. None of us should have to do that. And, it, and it's just, it's heartening. It's sickening. It's ridiculous. And it's like, when is it actually going to stop? But let's be honest, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Got a little civil rights right. over here. It's uh, going because on. it's like, I don't... When, first off, okay. Let's be real. As a black child, no matter what background you come from, you are all given that, that talk. That talk on how you should walk, how you should breathe, and how you should carry yourself in this world because they know it's not a black person's world. It is a white man's world. Mm. This no is nothing how, new. No matter what, cha- what's it changing. Is in, it is implanted in every man, woman, and child that is 
a person of color. I'm not just going to say black people because I know some Spanish people that have had this my, conversation it's a with their my, family It's a too. minority conversation. Exactly. Every minority has had this conversation. So with that being said, you are already implanted with this at an early age knowing that your peers around you who are not do not share the same skin color as you already have a certain advantage in life therefore you have to work which i was taught twice as harder you have to be twice as smarter and you got to be on your fucking toes twice more than any other motherfucker around you because you need to make up for whatever disadvantage that you were granted at birth it's just the way the cards were dealt and that's the way that we we as a people as a minority group have overcome this obstacle in life so you've already taken that from childhood you've taken it into your your adulthood now now okay yeah you've you've gone you've had experiences you've seen people of all walks different sizes shapes colors and everything but still you still have in the back of your mind let you be the only black person at a white function you know you're having that self you're having that self-reflection talk with yourself like yo you know you out of your element. You know you gotta come correct. Let's be on your toes. Where's my exits? Where my surroundings? Where, where you're looking? On? You're looking for exits. You look. It's crazy that you gotta do that, and it is true. And some people may f- say that it's not true. I hey, this is just my personal experience. But this is just again something that I know, and that I know that my parents have instilled in me, and I know that my family my immediate family and my extended family all have had this this conversation so and had to go through this thing so yep it's not it's not just a me thing it's a universal thing at this point yeah and i don't know it's just like it's a number it's a never ending cycle but it doesn't make you want to stop living life like it's just it's just one of those things like it's unfortunate i mean it's unfortunate and it's it's just it's just, Again, like you said, you know, everyone has had that conversation. Everyone goes to that conversation. Look, I can remember when I was going to Italy, my mom was like, look, if you're in a bar and they start shooting, look, throw someone's body over you so it looks like you're dead so they don't come back and kill, get you or look, know where the bathroom is, know where the exits are. And it's like, it's like you laugh at them things because it's like that stuff isn't going to happen. Mm-hmm. But then it happens. This stuff happens all the time. So it's like. Even as much as I laughed at it before, when when I'm over there, I'm over there looking over your head on a swivel, seeing what's going on. But then to deviate away from the whole race thing and everything too, um, it's just the the day and age that we live in that is just a scary time, because you can literally send your child to elementary school and not even guarantee that they come home alive. Like, not only do you have to deal with being a person of color, but now you have to worry about just surviving day-to-day activities that used to be something that was normally safe. That something you didn't even have to bat an eye to twice. My parents would literally send me down the fucking street. I would walk to school, bro, as young as I fucking was, and they trusted me to do that shit. Yeah. You can't even go to school without thinking that somebody is going to run up in your child's school and kill them, bro. That shit is crazy. And, like, granted, I don't have kids now where the shit is popping and it's a normal thing. But, like, Once at some do. point, I am going to. And, like, I'm going to become one of those concerned parents where I want to know that if I send my kid to school, yep. they're going to come home from school. Straight like that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's fucking nuts, bro. And it makes you really think, like, damn, like. And then, of course, you know, piggybacking off of this uh, political race and everything like that. Shit make you want to dip from this country, bro. America is the... It used to be the bee's knees. Everybody wanted to go to America, but it ain't it no more. I mean, people still do. That's why, you know... It ain't it no more, though. It's... (sighs) This is why... Nowhere is it anymore. (laughs) That's why it's kind of hard to go anywhere. I want to go to Canada, low key though. This is why I get you know going back to for you know the election. 
this is why it's important. And you know what the funny thing is too with like you know Trump and everything. A lot of these people are, don't even care that they're racist anymore, because they're they're just showing that they're blaming. They're coming out. And they're seeing, hey, yeah, we're here. So it's, they don't care anymore. So it's it's not even like you know, it's not it's not like people you know were scared like it was a few years ago. If they said something, oh damn, you, up they about to get me or cancel. They don't care about that anymore. So it's like cops don't care. People who are racist. It's like we're just trying to live here, just like you guys. We're trying to live our lives, just like you guys. We're trying to go work this nine to five, go get the same exact money that you guys are getting. It's like it doesn't make sense. It's ridiculous. It's just another person added to the tally book. It's just another person in the history books at the end of the day, too. Another black woman killed. So, uh, it's tough. It's kind of hard. So. Cinnabon? Yeah, they deliver. Where do you get Cinnabon from? The mall. What the hell? They have a Cinnabon at the mall. Did you know that? I don't go to the mall. <laughs> get those cinnamon things, though. No, you're eating Cinnabon. I'm giving nah, they don't actually deliver, but I'm trying to see if they do. But you should really get those cinnamon things, though, just in case they don't deliver. Ooh. Thanks, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing that. We're getting pizza, but I'm not doing all that. That's crazy. Um. Yeah, I mean... Look right there. No, that's crazy. You really not gonna get the Cinder Jones? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Don't let's see and then don't do I it. I think we're gonna get the pretzel bites. They have or pretzel bites? No, yeah. Oh not pretzel bites, Parmesan bites. You're fucking tapped, kid. <laughs> I said what? Pretzel <laughs> bites? <laughs> yeah, I, said, I was pretzel about to go bites. crazy. Pretzel bites. Oh man. Um Yeah, that's it, Drew. I think I think that's it for today's podcast, you know. Yeah. Unless you want to talk about all the flights that's been getting delayed, Delta's been on on one. Delta has been delaying flights and. Bro, I don't want to talk about flights. <laughs> <laughs> this man sitting here knowing I don't want to talk about that. Do, shit. You don't want to talk about no flights, bro. Last flight I took, bro, I I almost ended up in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm not I'm not. You doing almost that. ended up in Detroit too. No. no in California. No fucking kids. Damn yeah, man. Well. All right, that's that's, a, that's our episode, Drew. You know, moral of the story of today is stop killing us and go vote. Jesus Christ! Literally, <laughs> just like that. All right. Um, <laughs> well, you guys can find me on Instagram at I Love You Drew. You can also find me at Second Human. Uh, tune in for future projects. Uh, a lot of modeling stuff coming your way as well. And um, keep it locked, loaded here, and tuned in on the Mixing Pop podcast. Because if you're not listening to us, then... What are you listening to? Exactly. Keep it locked on the Chef Tariq Show, too. That's coming back with TV to table very, very soon to a TV near you. Um, and, yeah, that that's all I got. What about you, Tariq? Uh, Chef Tariq on Instagram and and uh, TikTok. Chef Tariq on YouTube. Chef Tariq 401 on Facebook. Uh, Book Bag Drive. And kickball tournament August 17th at Prep Metcalf Field right there on Hawkins, Charles Street. So if you guys would like to donate, you guys can DM me or text or call me. Or you can DM Solano Detailing on Instagram or Anthony Solano on Facebook. Uh, We're looking for book bags, notebooks, pencils, rulers, racers, any school supplies. Um, Or if you want to just come out, help pass out book bags help put book bags together, be a part of the festivities, you know, if you want to be on the grill, if you want to help serve some food, definitely come out. And look, if you have any kids, bring them out. We got the book bags to give them. We got bounty houses. We got slip and slides. We got face paintings. That's tough. We're going to have DJ. We're going to have food. We're going to have a bunch of games out there. Bring your kids. I don't want to hear it's too far. I don't want to hear. Bring the children. Go, go get your bag. No, come out with your kids. It's a, it's a, it's a full day of festivities. It's Bring a the children. Full day of fun. Come out, have a great time with us. It's gonna be great. August seventeenth, right here in Providence. It's gonna be great. Come out. Um, Mix of Hot Podcast every Friday, ten a.m. Spotify, Apple Podcast, and YouTube, or wherever else you guys get your podcasts from. So make sure you guys are locking in with us. See what's going on. What's new in the world? 
check out our po- our clips on Instagram and TikTok that we post. Uh, check out Toxina's freestyle. Toxina, Toxina. Let us know what That's you guys. That's my guys think. there. Us, let us know what you guys think. If it's hot or not. Who else you guys want to see freestyle in here? There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of great people. Toxina, Toxina. Uh, there's a lot of great names on there. Drew, who 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 should we have next? Um, who should we have next? Who you know that actually Close freestyle? Second, right? We gotta get some models up in here. As a guest. To get Grace's ass on the fucking podcast. And Grace is too Hollywood for us. I know. Uh, too Hollywood for me. We can we can get other people. I, I got some other people. We got some people. We get let's get there. some let's get some models in here. Let's let's see what they're talking about. I'm screaming. Let's get some designers in here. Let's let's do something. Let's let's do something. Right? We could do something. We we could get people on here. No yeah, way. exactly. But uh but yeah, guys, that's our episode for today. You know, a little shorter, but hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, we here to bring you the facts. To Cena, to Cena. We bring we're here to bring you guys <laughs> let you guys know what's going on in the world. What's going on with food? Ain't nothing really going on with food right now. Nah, nothing really. No. Yo. Did you do you watch the bear? Yo, y'all keep saying that. I I don't know how you could watch that show without getting like stressed out. That doesn't stress you? It does. Like you don't like get really anxiety get the anxiety. And- like I really Real deal, like, I always used to think niggas would be bullshitting whenever they would watch some shit and be like, <sighs> but I really watched that shit, and I'd be like, yo, like, this is, but it, what it really is, and I was telling my boss this because she watches it, I, it's the way they edited it, you know what I mean? Like, the way they, the camera angles and the way the dramatic shots and shit like that, and it adds up and it builds anxiety, but the yeah. only reason it reflects with us is because, nigga, we lived it. We've, so. we've been through a lot of that. So I already know the feeling. Um... So you didn't watch the you didn't watch the new season then? No, I don't watch that shit. Um, it does give me time. anxiety. There are certain things that's like, all right, no, that doesn't really happen. But okay, you know, they're adding it into it, you know, because it's TV at the end of the day. Um, fifteen dollars for a six pack? They're bugged out. Is that insomnia? Yeah, bugging. Um, but the crazy kind of crazy. So basically, what's been happening is like, you know, they're trying to get a star. They're trying to get the Michelin star and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you know, like, when you're doing Michelin, everything's got to be precise. Everything's got to be crazy. The one crazy, and this is the, and this is where I'll, I'll just leave it off. Basically, he changes the menu every single day. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know anywhere that does that. I could be wrong. I'm sure you know some places that Michelin spots will change the like What's majority of the menu every single day. What's it called? Used to. Not every day, but they would change it like every other day. Wow. Um, when I used to work at Primo, Melissa Kelly's Primo in uh, Florida at the resort, mm-hmm. we they used to do that. And our prep was like ridiculous because we would always be every something with fiddleheads every time, bro, too. It was always th- pissing me off. I think that is probably the most ridiculous thing in the world. If you're a chef and you're doing that, oh my lord, you must have endless amount of money and your food cost is through the roof. They got bread. They had a fucking herb garden in the back of the hotel. Like, what it's, the fuck? It's like you're changing the menu every single day. First of all, to have your staff remember something every single day is kind of OD. Then to have to have stat, your wait staff in the front of the house remember that stuff, to know something on the fly like that. Yeah, today's pasta dish is going to be this, but this, uh, whoa. Wait a minute, what happened to yesterday's? It's kind of it's kind of a lot. So I was like, I don't know anywhere that's doing this. But I wouldn't be surprised if people are doing this. And you know what's crazier, too, about that place? It was a silent kitchen. So we had on headsets. Yeah. And we would all communicate with the headsets. And, like, the chef would be telling us, like, the components to, like, a certain dish and shit. And, like, we would need to, like, learn it right then and there. Like, everybody would be tuning in. And then you're like, all right. If you got your little notepad, you write it down. But then that would be it. But, like, yeah, it would switch up a lot of shit. Yeah, I know. My dad my dad was watching it. He was like, yo. I was like, yeah, I told you. Like, that's why I'd be, like, be scared sometimes. Because it, it, it would be it would be kind of crazy. But, yeah, that's that's all I had. That's all I wanted to say on the beer. Um, It is a good show at the end of the day. You guys should definitely get a watch. You should, you should get back into it. No. <laughs> Yo, uh, honorable mention. Watch um, Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jackets. That shit is good. No, have you watched Supercell on Netflix? Yes, and I did not like the ending. <laughs> Keanu was like, "This is so good," and I was like, "That was fucking mid." 
Bro, yo, it, it 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 the whole season basically built up for the next season, but there is no next season. They need to stop that. <laughs> no, they gonna be. That it's gonna be was, a new season. That shit was trash. It's gonna be a new bro. season. It's gonna be a new season. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> One ran all the way to damn Scotland. Like, I'm like, come on, bro, get the fuck out of here with this shit. It, it's it's you it's, ain't run through nothing. You ain't hit. You ain't do no A train shit. You just ran all the way to Scotland. Like, come on now, get the fuck oh out. Oh my god! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out. We're out of here. Peace.